Hello there. Welcome to When Children Attack. In the age of COVID, we adults have had to adapt to a new work environment, the home. Over 50% of business interactions are now done over programs like Skype and Zoom. And over 30% of those interactions are interrupted by a toddler who's asking the same question that you've answered three times already. Children are agitated. Who can blame them? We're encroaching on their territory. The clips that you're about to see are examples of a product manager who's simply trying to create a product training video for his coworkers. Now this is real footage, so I have to warn you some of the images you might find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey there, I'm Matt Glixman. I'm the product market manager for Festo's process automation products. Now, in the time of COVID and self-quarantining, I thought now would be a perfect opportunity to teach everyone how to put a butterfly valve assembly together. So we have our butterfly valve, actuator, limit switch, and pilot valve. Now, the first part is sizing the actuator to the butterfly valve. And the most common adapter you're going to need is called a reducing sleeve. Because as you can see in this instance, there's a lot of play here. That's because you need these dimensions to be the same. So all we're gonna need to do is take our reducing sleeve. Where the heck? Um, okay, um, I need to go find the reducing sleeve. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, uh, we're back. So it turned out my reducing sleeve was thrown in the trash. Um, but I got a new one, it's all good, so we can start back up again. Uh, so we got our butterfly valve, actuator, limit switch. Um, where's my pilot valve? Tessa, did you take my pilot valve? Oh, can I have it back please? Can I have it, please? Oh, thank you. Um, this, uh, oh, oh, Tessa, thank you. Thank you. No, this is also a, this is also a plane. You're gonna take it back? I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so, um, never end up finding that pilot valve. So, you know what, it's, it's just a couple screws that goes on the side, it's not important. It, you'll get a good sense of how to do an assembly even without it. So, uh, we're just gonna use the butterfly valve, the actuator, and the limit, limit switch here. What? Why is there milk inside the limit switch? Ben used it in the cereal bowl. You know what, it's fine. It's, we're not using the electrical anyway. I just need to, okay, where are the screws to mount to the actuator? Well, I have good news, I have bad news. Okay, well, what's the bad news? He thought screws were part of the cereal. Well, what's the good news? You get it back in 24 hours. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Hey everyone, so in light of the last couple of weeks, I've decided to forego the limit switch and the pilot valve for obvious reasons. It's really, it's just a few screws to mount them to the assembly. It's not the most critical part, but we still have butterfly valve and actuator. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I recovered the actuator from the kids' playroom. And I mean, I, I don't know why, or or how but but mainly what wait where are you going hey come back here come back here <laughs> oh, stupid microphone <sighs> okay so chased him into the backyard but i i have no idea what he did with the valve hey lucian where'd you put my valve no it's it's not an actual butterfly. It it's not alive. No, it's not alive. You didn't need to set it free. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hey everyone. 
So I, I know it's been a few weeks, but I finally figured it out and, and it's brilliant. Even my wife, before she left with the kids to go to, um, where'd they go? Doesn't matter. Before she left, she said, you know what? You have become a major brain in the class. Now, I've never heard of that phrase before, but it sounds pretty good to me. That's not even the best part though. Check this out. We have a very special guest today. So please join me in welcoming Rich Huss, president of Festo US. You're very welcome, Rich. Would you like to say a few words before we begin? I completely agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. So what we've done here is we've reproduced all of the products using blocks. So we've got our butterfly valve, actuator, limit switch, and pilot valve. So let's start with the valve and the actuator. Now, when you're putting these two pieces together, you have to size them properly normally. So you have to take into account torque and flange size and stem size. But we're gonna go ahead and pop them together. We'll talk a bit more about it. Normally the actuator is aligned with the pipeline like so. So we'll just put this on. Yeah, I'm being careful, okay? I know. But even in the real world, the stem and the shaft are gonna be a pretty snug fit. So you're gonna kinda of have to, you know, force them together a little. No. <gasps> Not a word, Rich. Not a word. Hey everyone. Um, so first off, I'd like to apologize. Uh, first and foremost to Rich Huss. I'm really sorry that I yelled at you. It was, it was way out of line. Uh, but I do have some good news in that in the time it took me to uh, try to put an assembly together, Festo is now able to build entire butterfly valve assemblies for you through our online configurator. We found online at our website under KVZA. Nice thing is you no longer have to size the actuator. You just tell us exactly what you want, size of valve, type of actuator, whether you want pilot valve, limit switch, we'll put it together for you. So if you're looking for a complete assembly, think KVZA. As always, stay healthy, stay safe.